So after the fastest Phillips challenge, we put Nick in both of the cars and he, we had him take him around the track for a rip. What do you think of driving a Tri-5 on the track? I've never driven a Tri-5 that fast in my life. I've never driven a Tri-5, but I swear these cars are fast. These are legit cars. So we brought Nick in for the old versus new versus speed tech challenge, but we also put him in these cars for the fastest Phillips challenge. Now this was different than the challenge, but we just wanted to get his take on what it felt like to drive an extreme Tri-5. So totally different than an F-body like you're used to. What do you think of the Tri-5s? Well, the Tri-5s, um, they both had the front, the same front suspension. The only difference was the rear of the of Tony's car was a torque arm and um, um, Kyle's car had the uh, IRS, both really good suspensions, and with the right kind of tuning, oh, they were they were just phenomenal. You know, we made some adjustments, and the IRS came out of the corners a lot earlier, and I was able to get on the gas a lot sooner than the torque arm. But the torque arm actually still held its own because that thing during the transitions, I was like flying through some of these slaloms, and with no problem as far as oversteer. So it's it's they're both great suspensions and i think the irs just really really shines coming out of the corners and you're on the gas and it's just putting down the power it is super exciting for me because growing up we've always seen these tri fives as gassers and things so now to see two of them talking with rob bird he said in all of his autocross he's never seen tri fives out not only on the track but truly competing. Right now they're putting down times the same as all these first gens and, and all these other cars. It's, it's really awesome to see. Um, they're big, they're heavy, and they're wide. So for me to actually take those cars and, and wheel them to really respectable times is pretty impressive. Kyle has the IRS and he's down to the 40s already. So that, that's where every, all the fast racers are. They're in the 40s and there's some people in the, uh, in the 39s, but to be in the 40s is, is pretty damn good for a 3,700 pound car. That's, that's a heavy car. Most of these cars are 3,200 pounds, 3,300 pounds. So you're giving away 400 pounds of weight, mass and the width. So, got to hand it to Kyle. He knows how to drive that car. Definitely. And thank you again for all your feedback on not only what we did with the old versus new versus Speed Tech, but also helping the Phillips out, getting the cars tuned and set up and everything. Thank you very much, Speed Tech. I appreciate it.